The pandemic set the state back a projected $2 billion in the fiscal year that started July 1st. New on 7 Action 7 News reporter Brendan Evans shows us how the state is putting a plan in place to try and make sure they don't take a financial hit like that again, even if another global crisis hits. Well, Doug and Shelly, you've heard the phrase, all of your eggs in one basket. The state had a lot of eggs in that oil and gas basket. Now, with the arrival of Netflix, NBC Universal, a lot of eggs in that film and TV basket as well. We know both those industries hit very hard by the pandemic. One of the things that has become glaringly obvious um, through COVID is we have to diversify the economy. The state cabinet secretary for economic development says they're targeting several sectors. Some the state already has a foothold in and others they hope to attract to the land of enchantment. We have an opportunity here because there are companies and businesses that don't necessarily want to be in big cities anymore, and they are looking to New Mexico to relocate. The categories for those businesses include aerospace and defense, biosciences, cybersecurity, film and television, global trade, intelligent manufacturing, sustainable and green energy, and sustainable and value added agriculture. The $1.5 million in grant money the state just received will also allow for two new hires, a recovery coordinator who will manage current needs and work with the community on opportunity zones, ways for those hit the hardest to get help, as well as an energy coordinator. And this uh, position will support the recruitment and the support of clean energy companies and job training programs. Now this strategy isn't really just to help people now. It's actually a 20 year comprehensive plan to look at where New Mexico is now and where they want to be in the future. We're live in Albuquerque, just outside Netflix. I'm Brandon Evans for KOET Action 7 News. Officials hope to have the full plan rolled out in the next six months. Now